the executive group has implemented a temporary pause of the hydroxychloroquine arm within the solidarity trial while the data, the safety data, is reviewed by the Data Safety Monitoring Board. I happen to be taking it. I happen to be taking it. I'm taking it, hydroxychloroquine. Right now, yeah. yeah when... A couple of weeks ago. The hydroxychloroquine is even safer. Insights from the world's best medical minds. You are watching the right doctors.com. I happen to be taking it. I happen to be taking it. I'm taking it, hydroxychloroquine. Right now, yeah. yeah when... A couple of weeks ago. The Lancet, as you know, published an observational study on hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine and its effects on COVID-19 patients that have been hospitalized. The authors reported that among patients receiving the drug when used alone or with a macro uh, lide, they estimated a higher mortality rate. The executive group of the solidarity trial representing 10 of the participating countries met on Saturday and has, uh, has agreed to review a comprehensive analysis and critical appraisal of all evidence available globally. The review will consider data collected so far in the solidarity trial and in particular robust randomized available data to adequately evaluate the potential benefits and harms from this drug. I take it. Frontline workers take it. A lot of doctors take it. A lot of doctors take it. I take it. You know, I hope to not be able to take it soon because, you know, I hope they come up with some answer. But I think people should be allowed to. I, guess I have been taking it for about a week, a week for about a week and a half. Every day? At some point, every day. I take a pill every day. Uh, at some point, I'll stop. What I'd like to do is I'd like to have the cure and or the vaccine, and that'll happen, I think, very soon. Chloroquine is a very old anti-malarial drug for several, I mean, it's been in use for nearly 100 years. And, and uh, the hydroxychloroquine is even safer. The biological plausibility was supporting that it is possibly an antiviral drug. Once we got the biological plausibility, and we also felt that uh, we had conducted some in vitro studies in, uh, in labs, in the test tube, and there was data supporting that also. So in vitro studies were conducted in the past and published in several papers in Nature and other magazines that you know of, which showed that it has antiviral activity. And what we found, that we found that it may be working. So therefore, and we also found that there were no major side effects except nausea and that was from the Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission results of all the people that were being monitored for hydroxychloroquine. Insights from the world's best medical minds. You are watching the right doctors.com.